Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to our scripture reading for today. So our scripture reading is going to be coming out of Genesis 27. We left off on Genesis 26. First off, how are you all doing today? I pray that all is well and everyone's having a great day. My day is well, still pretty early, so I haven't really got started with anything today, so um just wanted to hop on and you know get this done and then try to get whatever else that i'm trying to going to get that i'm going to get um done today so um pray all as well all goes well today and oh, just see what happens i don't know really don't have that many plans except trying to get some of these nails done and that's about it but um uh, and get ready for the sabbath try to get dinner done early so hopefully i get that done early. gotta get to the store probably do taco night tonight i think that's what i'm gonna do I'm do some tacos some tacos some nachos so but anyway so yesterday we left off on genesis 26 um regarding isaac and Abimelech, and isaac um of course, doing the same thing that he did with his um that his father um Abraham and his wife Sarah did, where he went to this place he um went to a new place and where he was settled and because of his beauty his wife's beauty, he decided that they should um say that they are sister and brother versus husband and wife because of fear that they may kill him. So, of course, Abraham and Sarah did the same thing twice. And first time Abraham and Sarah did this, they was with Pharaoh and his people. And the second time Abraham and Sarah did it was with Abimelech and his people. So here it is now. Um, his son Isaac is doing the same thing. And with Ab um, Abimelech. So, of course, they did that. Of course, the, um, the lie was exposed. And they found out the truth and what was happening. So they got all that taken care of and so that's what we read in the last chapter so now here we are um genesis 27 jacob gets isaac's blessing and jacob flees to laban so let's get right into the word and see what god has for us today Thank you again for a new day, for bringing us safely through this week. Father, as I get ready to read your word, I ask you for insight. I ask that you first forgive me of my sins, Father. Anything that may have done today that wasn't pleasing or acceptable to you, I ask that you please forgive me of it, Father. And just please wash my sins away. Wash all of our sins away. And Father, as many get on now and later, I ask, Father, that you will bless their eyes and their ears, their mind, Father, and their hearts, Father, to receiving your word, Father, and give them insight on it. Give me insight. Speak through me, Father God, to read your word, Father, and help me to gain understanding from it, Father. And whatever blessing that lies within this scripture, Father, help me to see it. Reveal it to me, Father, and reveal it to others, Father, as we read and share your word. Thank you, Father, for the reading of your word, Father, and thank you for the doers of your word. Forgive us all and just watch over us and see us through. And we thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, let's see. All right, so Genesis 27 reads, When Isaac was old and his eyes were so weak that he could not no longer see, he called for Esau, his older son, and said to him, My son, here I am, he answered. I am now an old man and don't know the day of my death. Now, your weapons, your quiver and bow, and go out to the open country to hunt some wild game for me. Prepare me the kind of tasty food I like and bring it to me to eat so that I may give you my blessing before I die. So remember that Esau, he was a um, 
skill for Hunter. Okay. So, um, here it is. Um, and Esau is the oldest. And so here, um, his father was getting old in age. And he wanted um, to give Esau. Oh, forgive me, my um, signal is just acting up. Lord, help me to get through this without any complications. All right, so, um, but yeah, he, um, Esau was a skill for Hunter, and so Isaac was getting old in age, and so he wanted to give his son, um, Esau, his, um, blessing. So he wanted him to go out and hunt for some food and to prepare, you know, some of the food, the food that he likes to prepare it and so he can eat it and give him this blessing. So, uh, let's see. Now, Rebecca was listening as Isaac spoke to his son Esau. When Esau left for the open country to hunt game and bring it back, Rebecca said to her son Jacob, Look, I overheard your father say to your brother Esau, Bring me some game and prepare so that I may give you my blessing in the presence of the Lord before I die. Now, my son, listen carefully and do what I tell you. Go out to the flock and bring me twice, I'm sorry, go out to the flock and bring me two choice young goats so I can prepare some tasty food for your father just the way he likes it. Take it to your father to eat so that he may give you his blessing before he dies. So Jacob said to his, to Rebecca, his, <sighs> more complications, more issues. <sighs> okay this again hold on okay so um Jacob said to his mother but my brother Esau is a hairy man and I'm a man with smooth skin what if my father touches me I would appear to be tricking him and would bring down a curse on myself rather than a blessing his mother said to him my son let the curse fall on me just do what I say and go get them for me so remind you, mind you um back um it said that um in chapter 25 where it stated um isaac loved esau but rebecca loved jacob so here we are identifying where rebecca overheard her husband isaac telling Esau to go prepare him some food so that he can give him his bless so he can give him this blessing and remember mm -hmm. Rebecca loved her son Jacob so she overheard this and she went to her son Jacob to let him know this so now here she is trying to deceive her husband by tricking him to make him believe um think that um this is Esau instead of Jacob I mean she's she want him she wants her son Jacob to go in and deceive him so both of them are trying to deceive their father and making him believe that this is Esau so that he can get his blessing so and of course she's preparing food because she know how he she knows how he likes it as she told Esau to prepare the food the way I like it. So now she's preparing the food the way, knowing the way he loves it. So that she can give it to her son Jacob so he can go in and give it to his son. I mean, his father Isaac, so he can get Esau's blessing. Because remember, this is Esau's blessing, not Jacob's blessing. So let's see what happens here. So he went and got them and brought them to his mother. And she prepared some tasty food just the way his father liked it then rebecca took the best clothes of esau her older son which she had in the house and put them on her younger son jacob she also covered his hands and the smooth part of his neck with the goat skin then she handed to her son jacob the tasty food and the bread she had made he went to his father and said my father Yes, my son, he answered. Who is it? Jacob said to his father, I am Esau, your firstborn. Here he is lying to him. I have done told me. Please. 
you may give me your blessing. Isaac asked his son, How did you find it so quickly, my son? My, you know, he just sent Esau out to go find this food. And Isaac was, I mean, um, and Jacob was there the whole time. So he's asking, like, how did you do all this so fast? Because Isaac never, I mean, Jacob never went anywhere. He was in the house the whole time. His mother prepared all this food. So, um, the Lord, your God, gave me success. The Lord your God gave me success, he replied. Then Isaac said to Jacob, Come near so I can touch you, my son. T to know whether you are, I'm sorry, to know whether you really are my son, Esau, or not. Jacob went close to his father Isaac, who touched him and said, the voice is the voice of Jacob, but the hands are the hands of Esau. So he recognized the voice, but he did not recognize his texture of his skin. Because remember, when they were born, um, Esau was hairy. Okay, let's see where we at. Yeah, but when Esau was born, he was hairy. So that's why his um, mother had to um, put over his um, skin. She um, she put, she covered his hands and, um, and the smooth part of his neck with goat skin. Because Esau, remember, they're tricking him to make him believe that he is Esau. And Esau was a hairy person. So he had to make him, she had to make him feel hairy. So she had to put goat skin over him. So, um, Jacob went close to his father, Isaac, who touched him and said, the voice is the voice of Jacob, but the hands are the hands of Esau. He did not recognize him for his hands were hairy like those of his brother Esau. So he blessed him. Are you really my son Esau? He said, I am. He replied. Then he said, my son, bring me some of your game to eat so that I may give you my blessing." Jacob brought to him and he ate. Jacob brought it to him and he ate. And he brought some wine and he drank. Then his father Isaac said to him, Come here, my son, and kiss me. So he went to him and kissed him. When Isaac caught the smell of his clothes, he blessed is like the smell of a field that the Lord has blessed. May God give you of heaven's due and of earth's riches of earth's of earth's richness and abundance of grain and new wine may nations serve you and peoples bow down to you be lord over your brothers and may the sons of your mothers bow down to you may those who curse you be cursed and those who bless you be blessed after Isaac finished blessing him and Jacob had scarcely left his father's present, his brother Esau came in from hunting. He too prepared some tasty food and brought it to his father. Then he said to him, my father sit up and eat some of my game so that you may give me your blessing. His father Isaac asked him, who are you? I am your son, he answered, your firstborn Esau. Isaac trembled violently and said, Who was it then that hunted game and brought it to me? I ate it just before you came and I blessed him and indeed he will be blessed. When Esau heard his father's words, he burst out with a loud and bitter cry and said to his father, Bless me, me too, my father. But he said, your brother came deceitfully and took your blessing. Esau said, isn't he rightly named Jacob? He has deceived me these two times. He took my birthright and now he's taken my blessing. Remember, he took his birthright when he was uh, when Esau came in and he was starving and he wanted some food and he asked his brother to give him some food. And Jacob said, first, give me your birthright and then I'll give you this. And then he said, well, what good is it if I'm going to die? So he gave him his birthright. And here now he is taking his blessing. 
Then he asked, haven't you reserved any blessing for me? Isaac answered Esau, I have made him Lord over you and have made all his relatives his servants. And I have sustained him with grain and new wine. So what can I possibly do for you, my son? Mm, mm, mm. Esau said to his father, do you have only one? Then Esau wept aloud. His father Isaac answered him, your dwelling will be away from the earth's richness, away from the dew of heaven above. You will live by the sword and you will serve your brother. But when you grow restless, you will throw his yoke from off your neck. Um, I had a thought. Um, you remember all he said, um, that, uh, I have made him Lord over you and yeah, I have made him Lord over you. And remember back, I have to find the chapter if I find it before we, off, but, um, it was stated in some chapters prior that the younger brother will well the young the older brother will serve the younger brother uh, yeah here you go um chapter 25 um verse 23 it said um the lord said to her he said this to rebecca um esau and um jacob's uh, mother the two nations are in your womb and two peoples from within you will be separated one people will be stronger than the other and the other will serve the older will serve the younger so here he stated that the older will serve the younger and here it is because of this deception that rebecca and um jacob did now here it is jacob has received um isaac i mean um esau's blessing so now the younger brother which is jacob is over his older brother Esau so now Esau the older brother will serve his younger brother which is what it was stated back in chapter 25 and here we see it coming to pass okay so that was the story for that one and here we are Jacob flees to Laban so Jacob of course um the one who just the younger brother who just stole his brother's um blessing but prior he stole his birthright here he done stole his blessing so now he's fleeing to laban esau held a grudge against jacob because of the blessing his father had given him and it's normal you know i mean think about in your shoes what would how would you feel had your sibling stole your birthright and a blessing that was rightfully yours they stole it from you how would you feel would you like hold a grudge for so long so many years or would you just let it go immediately i mean how would you really deeply feel so imagine if you feel you would hold a grudge towards him for a long time imagine esau felt that his younger brother deceived him and stole all of this from him so he held a grudge towards him he said to himself, the days of mourning for my father are near. Then I will kill my brother Jacob. Hmm. He said he was going to kill. That's how angry he was. He was that angry to where he wanted to kill his brother. The grudge was that deep. When Rebecca was told what her older son Esau had said, she sent for her younger son Jacob and said to him, your brother Esau is consoling himself with the thought of killing you. Now then, my son, do what I say. Flee at once to my brother Laban in Haran. Stay with him for a while until your brother's fury subsides. When your brother is no longer angry with you and forgets what you did to him, I'll send word for you to come back from there. Why should I lose both of you in one day? Then Rebekah said to Isaac, I'm disgusted with living because of these Hittite women. If Jacob takes a wife from among the women of this land, from Hittite women like these, my life will not be worth living. 
So <clears throat> Hittite women, I guess, were just like, in her eyes, they were, I guess they were no good women, but she was not pleased if her son took a Hittite woman, a, a Hittite woman to marry. She was just basically like, you know, my life is over. If my son takes one of these women, I, I'm just, that's it. I can't, no. So, so she sent her son Jacob away to her brother Laban because of what she heard that her older son Esau was contemplating on doing to her younger son. So she sent him away. So that concludes our reading for Genesis 27. Thank you so much for tuning in and just again taking time out of your day to um, read and listen to the word of God and I just pray that it fulfilled you in any kind of way and it just gave you insight on something if it, whatever insight it may have given you today please what insight you receive from this um let's see um what Again, it just goes back to what I was saying yesterday about just lying and trying to deceive someone and being um, being careful about deceiving and lying to people because you just never know how it may come back to hunt you. Um, we'll see how this story unfolds later. We already seen how it's going, you know, with the deception that um, his younger brother has played in this situation and how now he is fleeing and how his brother is angry with him and he he's just holding a grudge towards him. So we're seeing how this is folding out. But the story's not done yet, guys. So we're going to see where this story leads. Um, let's see. I think that is all that I need to share. So do we know... Some of you all may know some uh, families like this where parents show favoritism towards the other child because we see in this story where one parent loves the one child more and the other parent loves the other child more. And we also see in this story where one of the parents was willing to go as far as deceiving her husband and allowing her own son to steal a birthright from a other son so we see a lot of um favoritism going on here and i'm not really sure why but we we see a lot of this and we have it amongst some of our families have you ever witnessed or noticed of uh, um favoritism amongst your family if you do oh please don't be amongst one of those that show favoritism oh my goodness just the chaos and the problems that you may open open up i mean that you just get it out right um you just opening a door to a lot of chaos and problems with so showing favoritism over one child to the other not a good thing not a good thing at all but as we see as we read these stories they 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 enlighten us of what we see now these things are going on now. So what's that saying? They say there's no, nothing new under the sun. It's nothing new because what we see now going on, it's nothing new because as you take your time to read the Bible, you'll see all of this playing out in the Bible. So it's nothing new that's going on. It, it may be, it seems shocking sometimes, I guess, because maybe we haven't witnessed it before. We may have read it, but not witnessed it amongst our own family or close ones loved ones in our fan um close to us but seeing it play out and then reading it it's like wow this is nothing new what what i'm experienced people have already experienced but just reading it it's an eye opener for us to change it and try to do better and be better and not be as not do some of these sinful or wrongful things that some of the people in the Bible did try to be better, try to do better. Okay. Follow their way as far as them being obedient, but far as some of the de 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 uh, deceiving things that they did, 
let's point it out and say, okay, that was deceiving. That wasn't right. That was a lie. That wasn't true. Hey, let's try not, let's not do that. Okay. So let's pinpoint and figure out some of the ways and some of the things that we can point out that we're good, that we can follow and pinpoint some of the things that we know that are wrong and not follow those ways. So I hope that you learned something from it and you take from it and it was a blessing to you. And I pray that you all will enjoy your day and you all be safe today and enjoy um, your Sabbath this evening and just just make it a great one, you guys. And I love you all. And thank you again for tuning in and watching daily with me and continue to watch and share with me daily. Um, God, I just want to say thank you for another day and Lord, I had a lot of complications throughout this broadcast, Lord. Um, the signal is just going crazy, but God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for fixing it and working it out, Father. Continue to work it out, Father. As I continue to do um, deliver your message, your word, continue to just bless us throughout this day. Thank you for seeing us through this week, Father. Help everyone to be safe as they leave their homes, Father, and as they're traveling home, back home later. God, just keep everyone safe. Help us to gain wisdom and insight on your word, Father, and continue to pour out your spirit upon us, Father, and help us to learn and help us to abide in your word, not just read it or listen to it, but to be doers of your word, Father. Help us to do better, Lord, and the things that we're struggling in or the things that we're just not doing good at father help us to know those things so that we can do better but father help us to allow these stories to speak to our speak life into us and to help bring change within our lives father and within our situations father but god help us to abide in you and help us to dwell with you father let your spirit continue to fall down upon us and continue to direct our steps and god show us where you will have us go and show us what you will have us do today father god but let us be a blessing for others, Lord God. Please save us. Please change us. Please heal, comfort us, and protect us. And just do what needs to be done in us, Father God, so that we can make a difference out here in this world. I ask for a blessing and a covering upon each and every one that will hear this, Father, and that will watch this, Father. Help them to watch it from beginning to end, Father, and continuously, Father, each and every day. Thank you so much. We love you, and we thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. Everyone have a great day. I love you and I will be back with you on Monday. God willing. Love you.